today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a tree bark, a, a drywall texture tree bark. We roll it onto the wall area in a band as normal using our roller. We lay it on about half inch or quarter of an inch thick and I'm going to use this smooth roller. This, this roller is nothing on there, there's no elastics on it, I think it's quite firm. It's a type of hard polystyrene I think. I got it off the internet. Um, it costs a few quid, but if you're going to do tree bark, pattern is your tree bark is your tools. When you create the pattern and you leave it without lacing it back or corking it back or knocking it down, it creates a, a heavy, sharp, pointy pattern for the walls. It's quite, you know, people have damaged their skin and, and furniture. So what we're going to do, we're going to lace this back or we're going to knock it down to create a smoother finish. So the, the texture will be a smooth texture. With this, once you laid it on, you laid a band of texture on, we're going to prime this into the texture and then we're just going to gently roll it down the wall and it's going to create us a pattern. The texture is a consistency for the which we use in the broken leather video. Um, it's, it's kind of wet and it's kind of, it's, it's easy to roll on. It's not too firm but if you want a thicker texture pattern for the, the back, you mix your texture up slightly thicker and that creates a thick pattern. Um, you don't need to put elastic bands or anything around the roller because this will create the pattern adequately enough for you. Roll the texture on. As soon as the texture is empty, you can see it almost creates a kind of back pattern just by rolling it on. And you can see the depth of the pattern, the texture on the on the wall is I say about quarter to half inch depth. When you've laid your texture on, roll it up and down the wall a couple of times just to even out the pattern. The next step is now is to prime our roller of a flat ruler, just dip it into the texture and then gently run it down the walls and you can see the boldness of the pattern. If you want your pattern thicker, just keep make sure the texture is mixed up thicker instead of this consistency which I'm using here. Nice and gently. You can go over what you just done to thicken it up a little bit, give it a bit more depth. Nice and gently, just let the ruler roll down the, the surface. No pressure, just let it roll. As you can see, that's creating quite a thick pattern. I'm quite happy with that. It's quite a thick texture. Right, so come across now and just bring out the depth slightly, just rolling it on, just bring out the depth of the pattern slightly. Now very gently, roll the roller very gently. It's creating the back pattern, just using a flat roller, no elastic bands on the thing attached. I say the depth determines how you mix your texture. If your texture is mixed thicker than this, you create a more thicker pattern. We're going to do now, we're going to let this go off 15-20 minutes. 
I'm going to lace it back or knock it down to create a flatter, more attractive finish, I think. Obviously, it's up to the individual. You can see the depth of the pattern here. This is before it's laced back or knocked down. It does resemble a tree bed, I must admit. Right, we're ready now to lace this pattern to flatten it back to the wall so there's no sharp bits. Um, it'll squash up the pattern a bit and it'll make it, you know, like an anaglypter type of finish. I'm using a cork again, but you can use a trowel um, or a filling knife, a wide filling knife. And I'm just wetting the edge here to stop the texture sticking to the tool. And then we just commence. You can either go from top to bottom, bottom to top. I'm just going to gently lay, lay the corking tool onto the surface. No pressure. And we're beginning to flatten up the, the pattern now. And this does make an attractive pattern for the wall. It's not very often used on the ceiling, but some people do put this texture onto the ceiling. Nice and gently, just run it all, nice clean swoops, all the way up the ceiling, all the way down the ceiling, trying to stop and start. If you stop and start, you're going to produce little stop and start marks where your, your corker or your trowel has stopped. Um, for instance, let me show you. And then you're going to try and remedy. And then you're left with a bit of a mark. So what we do is try and do it in one clean swoop, right up the ceiling, right up the wall. Yeah, I'll just show you this now. Bit of a close up here. You can see the pattern there is flattened out. And if you want to, you can even go a step further and flatten her out even more, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to do now. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flatten this pattern out even more. A bit more pressure applied. And you can see the type of design now is really squashing the higher parts of the pattern into the into the wall and this is what we're trying to achieve so it's up to you Again. And of course you can go a step further if you want to. 